Hi, I'm Marlon Ceballos, and in this video I'll show you how we can select and mask hair. I use this image in this tutorial, and you can download for free this image from this URL, pexels.com. I'm going to return to Photoshop, and I'm going to open the Ledger's panel. We have a background, so I'm going to click this icon at right of the ledger name. And after click, that background become a standard ledger. Now I'm going to click this icon for create a new adjustment ledger. The adjustment ledger that I want to create is solid color. After click, I get this new ledger. Remember, adjustment ledger. The fill color is black by default, but I can select any color from this color picker. For example, I'm going to select this cyan color and I'm going to click in this button for close this window. Click and drag this layer beneath layer 0. Now I'm going to select layer 0 and I'm going to go to select menu and click in subject command. The subject command creates an automatic selection. Right now, the selection is pretty well. So I'm going to click this icon for create a mask from that selection. And this is the image selected. Not perfect, but pretty well. I'm going to rename this layer subject because that was the command that I used. Now I'm going to duplicate this layer using the shortcut command J or control J if you're working in Windows. And I'm going to rename this layer. Select and mask, because this is the next command that I'll use. I'm going to hide this layer. Now I'm going to go to select menu and click over select and mask command. After click, I get a new interface select and mask. In this interface, I can improve the mask. For that word, I'm going to use this tool, Refine Edge. This tool is Quick Selection, the same Quick Selection tool that I have in the standard interface of Photoshop. This is Brush Tool, the same Brush Tool that I have in the standard interface of Photoshop. Remember, I work with Refine Edge. With this tool selected, I'm going to refine some areas. For example, this area needs to be transparent. I can check the mask, for example, using this option. This area is totally white right now, but needs detail because needs to be transparent in this area. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to increase the brush size and click and drag for refine these areas. You can see the result. Same in this area, same in this area, and refining the mask. Check this. I'm going to select this option for preview the mask. I'm going to use the shortcut Command C before the refine and after the refine. And now I'm going to repeat that process around the hair of the model because this will be the same work in all hair. I'm going to speed up the video. I finished that refine work. Now I'm going to verify this option, new layer with layer mask, and I'm going to click OK button. Right now, the mask looks almost perfect. This is a very good mask. 
I'm gonna press Option or Alt key and I'm gonna click in this icon. You can see the mask. The mask has a lot of detail. And I got part of this detail using the Refine tool. Click again over this icon, pressing Option or Alt click. And now I'm gonna change this color. Remember this color is cyan, double click, maybe this color, check, the layer is pretty well. I'm gonna change again the color, but this time I'm gonna select a dark color. For example, this color and check. Now the mask doesn't look perfect because has hellos. And of course, we need to remove that hellos. How we can remove that hellos? I'm gonna select the mask. I'm gonna go again to select and mask interface. And now I'm gonna click this option, the contaminate color. Check this option and this is the result. It's pretty well, much better. Click an OK button. Rename this layer and this is the new result. Check. I'm gonna change the color. The result is good. The result is good. If I select a dark color, it's pretty good. I'm gonna click an OK button. And this is how we can select and mask her in Photoshop. Thank you for watching this video.